Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart WePay Payment Gateway. Now this particular payment gateway is a reliable and convenient payment gateway that accepts payments from credit cards and bank accounts to supercharge your growth. This helps any buyer to conveniently shop with their credit card or bank account details without any hassle. So we at Webcool have developed the WePay module by which the admin can provide their buyers this convenient and easy to use payment service for purchasing their products. Now the customers will find this particular uh, uh, payment method at the time of checkout under the payment methods for selection and after the selection the customers can choose whether to pay, pay using their bank account or using their credit cards as required. Apart from that the customers can also ask for a refund from the admin by first returning the product and then the admin can make a refund from the admin backend under the WePay refund system. So I'll be showing you the workflow today at the storefront. As you can see right now, I'm on one of the products there. Uh, that's the WePay payment that I've created for $350 and I'll be making a checkout with the WePay payment there. But before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now I have one product that's the WePay payment. I'll be adding it into the card there and I'll be making a checkout. If you have already logged in, then you'll be directed to the checkout. Otherwise you'll have to log in first and then you can choose the address there. Then the delivery address uh, has to be chosen and uh, then I'll be choosing my shipping uh, method there. Now under the payment methods here you will find the WePay payment gateway as you can see. Now this particular title can be set by the admin from the backend panel under the configuration settings of this payment gateway itself. And the same title is then visible to the customers at the checkout under the payment methods there. And the customers can select this particular one, choose the terms and conditions and can tap on the continue button. Now before making the payment they can see the complete total that needs to be paid that's for $705. For example and they have to tap on the confirm order button thereafter. Now after tapping on the confirm order button they will be redirected to the WePay itself and here they can see the amount that's $705 plus the service fee. Now the admin has the option to choose whether the admin needs to pay the service fee or the customer has to pay the service fee for the payment there and according to that the service fee is charged to the admin or to the customer there. Now here the admin uh, has set up uh, the payment method and now you can see that uh, the customers can pay with their credit card or they can pay with their bank. If they tap on the pay with bank another window will open up as you can see that accepts the payments online. Uh, so the WePay uses uh, uh, one method there to uh, uh, accept the payments and uh, it uses the played to link the bank accounts there so you can tap on the continue button to proceed further otherwise if you want you can also manually enter the account and the routing info for your bank so as to authorize uh, the payment there so if i tap on the manually enter the account info here you have to enter your uh, details of your bank that are your full name your email address your bank name your routing number your account number confirm account number then you have to choose whether it's a checking or a savings account and then you have to authorize the account here so as to make the payment. So now in today's uh, video, we'll just be checking out how to make a payment using the uh, credit card there. So I'll just go ahead and I'll be entering the details of the customer there. I'll be entering the name of, uh, name of the card there of the customer. The card number, I'll be using a test card number right now. And uh, let me enter the same and then I'll be entering the expiry date of my credit card, my security number or my CVV number and I'll be choosing my country and my zip code and then I'll be tapping on the next button. Now you can see that the amount is uh, $725.74. Initially it was only $705. Uh, now we have inclusive of the service fee. As you can see the service fee is also visible. Here you can see that uh, $20.74 is this service fee and the total amount includes the same. Here you can see that uh, here we have the name of the customer Smith door, the card number being used. If you want to change the card number you can tap on the edit information as well. Now here you need to enter your email address so I'll be entering my email address here. 
and uh, on the same email address you will be receiving a receipt there now you have to tap on the confirm button thereafter and in a few seconds you'll see that the order would be placed using the WePay payment uh, gateway there using your credit card so the order has been placed now the customer can check the history of the order there the order ID is 184 let's tap on the view button so here we can see the amount is $705 and uh, the payment method is uh, WePay payment gateway itself so that was the customer's workflow how the customers can easily pay using their credit cards or their bank account uh, there and uh, now uh, let me take you to the admin backend panel and uh, let me show you a few uh, options there as well so i'll be logging into the admin backend panel now after the successful installation of this particular uh, payment gateway that's the open cart uh, WePay payment gateway the admin will find one option uh, in the side panel that's the WePay return under that uh, he'll be finding all of the returns that have been initiated by the customers and from here the admin can make a refund to the customer so for this particular order if i go ahead as a customer and return the order the order id is 184 i'll fill in the product written details here i'll choose the return reason or uh, the details for the faulty or other details here and i'll tap here on the submit button so you can see that i've submitted it for the returns right now now if I go back to this particular section and refresh the page, uh, we'll have the order number 184 that we had just placed for the WePay payment uh, product there. And from here the admin can easily tap on the refund button to make a refund uh, and initiate the refund into the customer's account there by tapping on the refund button. So if I tap here on the refund button, the amount would be refunded into the customer's account there itself, be it the credit card or the uh, bank account there. Now apart from that, uh, let me show you the initial configuration settings required for this particular plugin. So for that you'll have to navigate through extensions and then go to payments. Here you'll have to go to uh, the Webcool WePay and tap on the edit button there. And that would bring up the Webcool WePay initial configuration settings. Now for uh, receiving uh, the client ID, account ID, client secret and the access token, how to get these things, you can check the user guide that I have attached within the description of this particular video for a better understanding of how to receive the same uh, and how to generate the same basically. So uh, here you can enable or disable this particular uh, feature or, or the payment gateway for your web store by enabling the option. Uh, then you have the mode whether you want to use it in the testing mode or in the live or the production mode. Uh, depending upon your requirement you can choose the test or the live environment for your payment uh, uh, gateway there then we have the transaction so here you have to select the person that will be paying the transaction fee whether the admin or the customer so in this example we saw the customer was paying the transaction fee at the checkout at the vpay itself then we have the order status so whenever the payment has been made using the vpay payment gateway what will be the order status of the order so you can choose it as complete or as required uh, there then we have the title here you can set the title that is visible to the customers at the time of checkout there under the payment methods so this title is visible this is customizable so you can set it up according to your own requirement there then you have to enter the client id account id client secret and the access token so for that you can check the user guide for a better understanding and then you can set the sort order uh, for this particular payment gateway on the payment method section there at the checkout time so whatever sort order you have set it according to that it would be listed in the payment uh, uh, method list there and then you just have to tap here on the save button to save the particular configuration settings so uh, yes that was much about the open cart vpay payment gateway and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements and kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.